Yo, if you want to build and edit freely with no lag just like this, and watch to the end of the video. I'm going to show you guys the best ways to lower your input delay on PC and console. But let's waste no time and get right on into it. Alrighty boys, so first we're gonna go over tips for console and PC, and then the PC only tips are gonna be at the end of the video. Alright boys, so if you're on console, you wanna come over to the video tab and make sure you go and turn off motion blur. That gives you way too much input delay and it actually will help you so much when it comes to FPS as well. But I'm on PC and performance mode, so I don't have it to show you. But really quick, we're gonna go through these settings on PC. So if you are on PC, we're gonna put this on full screen. Make sure this is 1920 by 1080. Make sure you cap your frames at whatever your monitor's refresh rate is. So if it's 144, you want to put it on 144 right here mine's 240 so i keep it at 240 um brightness off colorblind i hate colorblind and it i don't like it at all but some people do so i keep it off 3d resolution this is something that you can turn down if you don't get a lot of fps or you don't have a really good pc it doesn't help a whole lot but it will help you a little bit if you are struggling to get some frames in game then of course have all of these to low you will get the best performance that way and also make sure vsync is off all right and back to the console tips as well make sure you come down here and turn replays off everybody knows this but i'm just going to spit that out there um also come to your game ui hud and make sure you turn this off it'll get you less input delay more ps and creative and if you play controller come over to the controller tab make sure you have vibration off some people play with it and for whatever reason they like it just turn it off it gives you input delay and it messes with your aim make sure you have it off and if you are on keyboard and mouse make sure you scroll all the way down in the controller tab and turn off enable for controller even if you are on keyboard it will give you input delay but for whatever reason some people like to have it on turn it off it just makes your game feel different because it does give you input delay so make sure you just turn it off all right so now we're going to go over to audio tab and come over here and make sure you have your audio quality on low. It doesn't change a whole lot. Footsteps sound a little bit different and the pump sounds a little different, but other than that, it sounds the complete same and it does lower input delay. Make sure you have 3D headphones off, background audio, all sounds. Visualize sound effects, a lot of people like to use them. Even if they do have good headphones or they're not hard of hearing, I say turn them completely off. It will give you some input delay. It's not a whole lot, but especially when you're in late game arena or you're in a pub match and there's a lot of people around, this will affect how much FPS you get which determines on how much input delay you have so just make sure to turn this off if you actually don't use it then come into subtitles and make sure you turn all of this to the left make sure everything is off and to the left and the rest of these settings are just personal preference and they don't really matter all right so now we're gonna go over to the controller tab so if you play controller make sure you have switch mode slash edit bounded to a button on your controller that you don't use so i have it on my d-pad and i never click this button my switch mode what i click to pull out my builds is my down left stick and my edit is my x button but it's a panel on the back of my controller i never use this button but what it does especially on console it removes an edit delay so if you're on, if you're playing on console and you don't have this on you need to make sure you bind it to somewhere on your controller also make sure you guys are playing on the generic controller platform this will give you zero input delay i see some people still playing on xbox and ps4 for whatever reason i don't know why make sure you have it on generic i still use an xbox controller and i don't have any input delay and now we're going to go over to the account and privacy tab come over here and make sure player surveys is off and you also want to come down a little and where it says show on career leaderboards make sure this is off this is putting you to the leaderboards of all your friends lists so just make sure you turn that off it does give you a little bit of input delay it doesn't matter a whole lot but make sure you have it off and for my controller boys make sure you are playing on whatever system you're on with a wired controller for whatever reason people like to play with the bluetooth on their controllers it's not as fast as a wire make sure you have it plugged into your console and another thing is if you can play on a monitor your game will feel so much better if you just play on a monitor if you have one with one millisecond response time even if it is 60 hertz um it'll definitely feel a lot better than a tv because tvs are not made for gaming monitors are made for low response time which makes gaming feel way better so even if you're on console try to scoop up a monitor if you can but alrighty boys so now we're gonna move into the pc only tips but listen if you are on console and you watch the full video comment down below i'm gonna try to subscribe back to most of you guys okay i'm gonna try to get to every single one if i can yo let's hop into these banger pc tips Alrighty, fellas so the first thing we're gonna do is press windows and the r button at the same time it's gonna pop up this little window here and then we're gonna type in percent temp percent just like this hit enter and you're gonna have a folder just like this pop open what this is is temporary files that windows needed to get a job done on a certain task so we can delete all of these so come all the way down here and you're gonna go all the way up and then you're gonna right click 
and press delete. And then this little message is going to come up. These are files that Windows is currently still using. So since I'm recording or uh, since I have Discord open or something like that, Windows still needs these files to be able to run. So we're going to hit do this for all current items and then we're going to hit skip and then it's going to recycle all these items. And once that's done, we're going to exit out of here and we're going to right click and hit empty recycle bin. And yes, and boom, just got rid of 428 files that we didn't need. All right, and the second tip is going to be the same thing. We're going to pop open the same window, the Windows and the R key at the same time. And we're going to type percent local app data percent just like this this is going to pop up right here so you're going to have all these folders right here a ton of stuff that you have on your pc we're going to scroll down until we see fortnite game so we're going to double click fortnite game we're going to go into saved config windows client and then you have game user settings right here make sure you right click we're going to go to properties make sure this read only box is unticked and then we'll get out of that. Then let's open up this file. All right, whenever the notepad opens of all your game settings, we are going to scroll down until we find our FPS counter. Now it's usually right around here where it says the resolution size, and it's right here, frame rate limiter. You wanna find this and you wanna come and you wanna change whatever your FPS is. Now listen, so if you have a 144 Hertz monitor, you wanna change your frame rate limiter to 141. You want it three FPS lower than what your monitor's refresh rate is. So since my Mine's 240, I'm gonna put mine at 237. So the reason why we do this is because it reduces screen tearing and it also does reduce a little bit of input delay from your monitor to the game. And it should make your game a lot smoother. Once you have that typed in, we're gonna hit file and save. We're gonna exit out and then you wanna right click and hit properties and read only. Make sure this is checked right here. And then we're gonna hit apply. Beautiful, and we can exit out just like that. All right boys, so third tip is we're gonna hop right into our settings. So go ahead and click settings and we're gonna click gaming. So once we get to gaming, you wanna find this Xbox game bar. Make sure this is off. This thing is awful. It like, it will reduce your FPS by so much. It's ridiculous. Uh, either use your AMD Radeon software or your Nvidia uh, GeForce Now or wh whatever it's called. I don't have an Nvidia card, but do not use the game bar. It is absolutely atrocious. Don't use it. And then captures, make sure all of this is off just turn it all off because you're not gonna be using the game bar anyways game mode game mode is something that's really good it uh optimizes your pc for you know gaming so make sure you have that on once you're done with that we're gonna come over here to personalization so click this then we're gonna go to colors and then turn transparency effects off this is like a little windows effect that makes your taskbar look a little cool and a couple other effects inside of windows um it's constantly running in the background so i just recommend you turn it off it's not too important it's just some visual features so just make sure you have this one off and then and we can click back so then you want to go ahead and click system and then we're going to go to notifications make sure you have notifications off on everything because these get really annoying and also it does have effect on windows uh running in the background shoving notifications down your throat and it's really freaking annoying anyways just make sure you have them off and after that we're just going to go ahead and hit x then i want you guys to hit the windows button and we're going to search disk cleanup this one is super super important i have three different drives this is my c drive this is the drive that you want to be doing this on this is your main drive but this is the one that windows will be installed to so go ahead and click your c drive and i did previously just clean this disc actually like three or four days ago uh shout out to my boy liquid but i did have 33 gigabytes of space on my c drive that could be cleaned up so you're going to want to check all of these boxes and what they are is pretty much a bunch of cache files and a bunch of temporary files that are in some of these folders that you might have made like this is my thumbnail folder for whatever reason I have 27 megabytes of nothing in there so we're gonna go ahead and clean this up and you're gonna click OK we're gonna hit delete and it's gonna start cleaning up my C drive all right boys so when that completes you should be good to go you should have extra space on your drive now you're gonna want to come back into your settings and you're wanna gonna search a background and click on background apps and this is a big one make sure you turn this one off because all this stuff would be running in the background it's like totally useless and if you do need to use one of these you can just click on your windows button type it in and open it but uh if they're just running in the background it's literally useless so just turn all of these off but alrighty, boys so that is all i got for you for today but before you click off the video if you did find this helpful at all come over to the item shop and support me by using my supported creator code it's take off tom just type it in the item shop hit accept and it helps me out way more than you'd think and if you enjoyed this video then you'll probably enjoy this video right here on screen as well so go ahead and click that and it'll help up my channel a lot as well. But thank you so much for your support and your time, guys. I really do appreciate it. But yo, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.